Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Before we get this video started, go ahead and subscribe and smash that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. It helps out my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the oxygen sensor on your manifold. And this particular one we're putting in is a Bosch oxygen sensor, the one we're going to install, the new one. Uh, that old one has actually got a broke wire right there at the top of the oxygen sensor. What we're going to do is we're going to get the new one here. We're going to get it removed from the box. And this particular car is a Honda Civic. Four-cylinder, single over cam, automatic transmission. The part number on that oxygen sensor is 13007. I'm saying that's a Bosch oxygen sensor. What we're going to do, and it's a OEM direct fit replacement here. There it is right here. I say it's direct fit. We don't have to splice it or wire it in like those universals you buy. Uh, we're going to take and get it unplugged here. It's right there underneath the top radiator hose. I'm just going to remove it right there from the top clip. Then we're going to reach right under here. And we're going to squeeze the tab on the plug and unplug it. Alright guys, now that we got it unplugged here, we're going to take it. Pull the old one up there. And then we're going to take it. I'm actually going to make it easy. I'm going to cut the top of it off so we can just undo it with a socket. Alright guys, we got the top of the oxygen sensor there cut off. That's it so we can make it easy to get to. And we're going to remove the slug there and the manifold. We've got a socket here. And then we're just going to simply take a ratchet and put it on there and break her loose. Alright guys, and on this particular one, we're actually using a, f a flex head breaker bar. <clears throat> to uh, break it loose there. And now that we got it broke loose, I guess we can, well we can go ahead and spin it. Keep spinning it. It's very important, I'll show you, when you reinstall them, to use lots of anti-seize. So, as you can see, this one just rotated right out, no problem. Put on a pair of leather gloves so I can grab a hold of that, because it's hot. Alright guys, we're just unscrewing it there. So the reason why I, left the, I got the engine and let it run it so it was hot, a lot easier to break them loose when they're good and hot. Plus, it's also very important, like I said, to cover them with anti-seize when you put them back in. Yeah, pretty corroded up. Now we're going to take, we're going to cover that in anti-seize. Then we're going to start installing the new one. All right, guys. Now we got some anti-seize here. I said we're going to cover those threads with anti-seize real good. <clears throat> we're going to install the new one. One second here. Get this anti-seize open. Alright. So we're just going to put a lot of anti-seize all over them threads. Real, cake it on there good and thick. It doesn't matter. It goes down in that exhaust. It'll be alright. Put the lid back on this anti-seize. Alright guys, now we're going to take the new one here. See, it comes with a little bit of anti-seize from the factory. But that's not a lot at all. I mean, yeah, it's going to move around on the threads. And most people are going to be like, well, that's all you need. Well, you know what? Using more anti-seize on a, an exhaust part, it can't hurt it. It's not going to hurt it at all. It's not going to come loose. It'll just keep it from one day you got to go to change it. Keep it from being a pain in the you know what to get out I said that's what we're worried about is that not being a pain? Like I said, in the, the you know what to uh, 
uh, get back out of there on us. Uh, you know, because they don't last forever. You know, nothing this will last forever, unfortunately. If they did, we'd all be, I guess, old, filthy rich. Huh. All right, let's look at, let's get a socket there. I mean, a ratchet. Excuse me, a, a wrench, and give it a little snug t pull and tighten her down. All right, guys, we got a wrench here. And there we go. Got her snug down good and tight. Now we're going to get this wire on. Twist it up right there. Get it ran over here. Get her plugged in here. There you go, I've got her plugged in there. So I couldn't get the snap with just one finger. Alright guys, hopefully y'all found this video useful. If you did, please smash that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Again, this is how to replace your auction sensor on the exhaust manifold. This particular vehicle is a Honda Civic single red cam non VTEC automatic and the auction sensor part number is 13007 alright guys you all have a great day see you on the next one